All right, everybody. This is another power bank and solar panel combo by All Powers. This is their R1500. Uh, it's got 1152 watt hour capacity. Um, it's got a uh, inverter with a 1800 watt max and a 3000 watt uh, surge, which is pretty significant. And it can take a solar input of up to 650 watts uh, with a voltage range going all the way up to 95 volts. So for what looks like a pretty medium size uh, power bank in terms of capacity, um, it's got a pretty impressive inverter profile and solar input profile. So you can buy this power bank either as a single unit or you can buy it um, as a package with this 200 watt uh, foldable solar panel, which we will take a closer look at in a few minutes. But uh, this might be my favorite part, to be honest with you. Um, I uh, have some experience with All Powers. Uh, I did a review of their R2500, which is a little bit of a bigger unit. And I used it a fair amount in Camper 8.0 and uh, around the garage, and it was pretty good for me. Um, let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on and look, take a little closer look at some of the controls here. So like a lot of these, it's a long press on. Uh, it's got your standard display and percentage. Uh, this would be watts input, whether you're using AC uh, or solar. Uh, down here is your watt output. And it also gives you a little estimate of how long the battery will last based on the time. Um, so over here, it's got the DC output via a cigarette lighter socket. This is regulated at 120 watts, which is very standard. Down below here, you have four AC outlets uh, with these little rubber covers on it. Uh, it. Sounds like a great idea, and I guess if this was out in the environment, it would be, but sometimes, I'll be honest with you, a little annoying, but not too bad, not a big deal. Uh, it's got a button here that you would depress to turn on the AC, and down there, it's displaying the hertz, and you get a little plug icon there to show what you're working with. Over here, you've got a myriad of USB. You've got USB A and C um, up here in this little panel. Uh, and you also have uh, two wireless um, charging sections, I guess you would say, that have a 30 watt max up there on the top. Let's go ahead and flip this baby around here, take a look at the sides. So this would be the input. You've got a little plate that lifts off. Uh, you can add um, expanded battery packs on this side if you wanted to. Got some intake and exhaust vents over there. And then on this side, another little plate here. And this has the AC input and the solar input. You could also charge this via a car charger too. Now one thing, I'm not going to break it, but I think... Anyways, uh, these panels can pull off. I actually pulled those off on my R2500 that I had an 8.0, just so you know. Uh, this thing weighs uh, just under 37 pounds. Like I said, keep in mind, this is a medium-sized uh, power bank here. This is not uh, one of the big boys. Um, so it's a little bit on the lighter side. Let's take a quick look at some dimensions here. Uh, this is 16 and a half wide. Uh, 10 and a half deep and right at about, oh, well, I'm going to say 12 and a quarter tall. Um, not a bad looking unit. It's got a nice screen on there. What we're going to do is I am, we're going to take a quick look at the solar panel and then I am going to take this power bank and run a heat gun, which will take about a thousand, it'll, it'll pull about a thousand or 1100 watts. And I'm just going to run it until the battery dies. And we're going to see what the, wire, the watt hour output is and see if it matches close to that 1152 watt hours that's claimed by the manufacturer. All right. So probably my favorite part of this is it's got this foldable solar panel. This is 200 watts. Um, I've become a big fan of these foldable panels. I really like these. And this one is particularly handy. 
Um, previously, I had reviewed uh, the All Powers uh, 400 watt foldable panel, and that is, I, I like it. It was a good one, but it's it's pretty hefty. Um, I think it was 40 some pounds, if my memory is correct. This right here, I forgot to get an exact measurement, but I would ballpark this at probably somewhere between 10 and 15 pounds, maybe closer to that 15 pound mark, but it's definitely a lot more handy. Now, of course, you got half the capacity, but um, I like it though. I like the general size. I'm gonna go ahead and set this bad boy up in real time, and let's see how that goes. This is the first time I've actually set this up, so. Okay. Okay, I got it upside down, so I'm gonna flip her around here. All right. Why I said I had it upside down is because it has these little legs that extend. Sorry, I would normally not flop my solar panels around like that, but can I do it for the show here? Let's see here. These are held in place with Velcro. I'm cheating a little bit on that one. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Not too shabby. I like it. And uh, let's fold it back up here. Let me go back wide angle here. Let's fold this back up. It's got on the back side, which I will show you guys momentarily. It's got a bag in there. Now look at that, guys. It looks like I've done that before. That's pretty quick. And uh, if you guys didn't get a good look last time, these are the little Velcro legs. You get, they're pretty rigid. Um, but on this back side here, it has another one of these legs but it has a zipper front here. Okay, so I have the panel set out toward the southern sky. It is a bright and sunny day, and it's probably about 60 out. So I'm sure most of you guys know, but the panels work most efficiently when they're a little bit cooler. So let's see, I already measured the voltage, and these were at 44. And right now, you can see that the amps were coming in at, uh, it's fluctuating a little bit, but 4.2, 4 4.3, 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, 4.6. You can see as we move this, this will adjust a little bit, 4.7. All right, so right there's our voltage, 43.4. Um, if you multiply that times the 4.4, it comes out right around 190 watts. So these are uh, actually producing remarkably well. So they work pretty darn well. Uh, pretty happy with them. All right, so for the function test, I have this little meter on here. And we are going to run the heat gun. It'll pull about 1,000 watts. And we'll uh, we'll run that to the end and see what watt hours we get out of this. Okay, so I ran the power bank all the way down, and I plugged this little charger here in my socket so it would fire back up so we could see. So for this test, um, running that heat gun, which pulled on average, probably about 1,100 watts. It ran for 46 minutes and did 0.922 kilowatt hours, um, uh, which is not too bad. I mean, this doesn't hit the 1,200 watt hours uh, that this thing is rated for, um, but there is going to be some loss with, um, you know, going through the inverter because this is, of course, AC. And the machine does cut off at 5%. I think it's they do that as a safety mechanism. So, um, you know, about, you know, close to that one kilowatt hour for a, a power bank this size, this is about what I would expect. So it's good to see that it uh, matched its expectations, or at least um, to my understanding. So that's the basic overview of the All Powers R1500 and the R All Powers uh, 200 watt foldable solar panel. And like I said, you could buy these individually or as a package. There will be a link down in the description, and depending on when this video is released, there potentially might be a coupon code for a little discount.